When you're making something like a lace shawl, it's important to do a really stretchy bind off so that you can stretch the bind off as far or further as you can stretch the fabric itself. First, you're gonna knit two stitches. One, two. And then you're gonna slip both of those stitches back to the left hand needle and knit them together through the back loop. Then you're gonna knit one more stitch and repeat the process, slipping those two stitches back to the left hand needle and knitting them through the back loop. So you're gonna knit one more stitch and knit them together through the back loop. And you'll keep going like that, always knitting another stitch and knitting them together through the back loop until all the stitches have been worked. Once you get down to that last stitch, you can pull your loop a little bigger. Cut your yarn and pull it through that last stitch. And so now I've got a nice stretchy bind off. The reason we want a nice stretchy bind off for things like lace is that when we're blocking, you can see it's got a really nice stretch to it. So I can really open up that lace and show it off. Here's what the bind off looks like after the swatch is finished. Here's what it looks like on the wrong side. And here's what it looks like on the right side of the work. And that's a stretchy bind off.